You know what time it is. Phil Gowdy checking in. It's time for a vessel of amber fluid. I want to thank my good friend, Crow Daddy Forge. He made this neck knife for me. I tell you, look at that. And that thing is razor sharp. This is the new version. It's still very tight. But look at that, will you? Let's see if I can operate it properly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It works good. And look at this fancy case that it comes in. I can put it on my belt. I can put it around my neck just like this. That's what I like the best. But look, look at the work, the artwork, the craftsmanship. It's just awesome. Thank you, Mark. Link for him is down below. You guys ought to go out and get you one of those. Look. Look at that. Oh, yeah. A generous pour. There is a vessel of amber fluid. Mm. I can tell you, I have deserved that. It's been a long week. Oh, that is good. I'm afraid to, or, or our days are numbered on these uh, warmer days. It's getting down in the 40s at night now. We shall see. But that's made me feel primal. Primal, yeah. You know what happens when I start feeling primal? You gotta cook me some catfish. Well, this is flathead catfish. Flayed out my flatheads. And on my catfish, when I deep fry them, Oh, the wind's coming up. I'm hoping that's not bothering you. I'll tell you what. It's a breezy, windy day. <laughs> anyway, that catfish, flathead catfish, has an outside skin, which I use my pliers and pull that off. And when I fry it, I cut that inside skin off and just have pure fish meat. But when I grill it over the campfire, I like to leave that inside skin on. It holds the meat together. I'll show you. I'll show you. You'll just have to check it out. On Everyday Acadia, we're sure to have just what you need. Stop into any of our locations and see for yourself why a gift in a Gardner Conger box truly means more. Okay, I have 71. Another secret to my fish preparation, this is flathead uh, catfish, not a channel catfish, so it's a bigger fish, but that doesn't matter. They ha all have an outer and what I call an inner skin. And you can see right there uh, that that white part is, is the inner skin. And then you got the meat, this is the inside part. Well, I'll... When I fry this, if I fried this, I would slice, I would take my fillet knife and fillet down and get rid of that inner skin. So it's just plain meat. But the way I'm going to cook these over the campfire, do a little primal cooking, they're going to, uh, that inner skin will actually hold that together. I don't eat that inner skin. No, I'll just peel it off of there. When it, when I cook, when it cooks, it pretty much cooks down, but it will hold that fish together and be less flaky. You know, otherwise it would just fall apart.
patted them dry. And they're ready to cook. A lot of times I use brown sugar. I didn't have any brown sugar this time. And you don't want to keep it low carb anyway, so. No, just salt, fresh water. Fire looks good. Just about perfect. In here I have one stick of butter and garlic powder. Some people would put lemon in there and I'm not because I don't normally lemon my freshwater fish. Now if that was saltwater fish I'd probably put lemon in there. But that's an option. You can use teriyaki, you can use lots of different things. I like the butter. That's salted butter with garlic. That's a hot fire. If you notice, it's an offset hot fire. Rotation is important. Especially when you have such a hot fire. More basting. It is. It's close. It's getting close to being done. That looks so good. There it is. Just look at the goodness. This is just steamed broccoli with Debbie Holland's steamer. Yeah. A little butter on there. Mmm. That's good. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about this. Oh, that doesn't even taste like fish. That is so good. <laughs>